Hi friends, this is Victor once again. A couple of weeks ago, I produced a video which I was about to upload to YouTube and I realized the video was turned upside down. I don't know what happened, but the video was turned upside down. So I need to figure out a way to rotate the video to be upright before I'll be able to, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> sorry, before I'll be able to upload the video to YouTube. And it took me some time to find my way around this. And today I want to share with you what I learned from this experience, how I was able to rotate the video to get it the way I want before I was able to upload it to YouTube. The tool I used to do this was Windows Movie Maker. There were other tools that were suggested that I could use, such as other tools that were suggested were VLC and other commercial video editing tools. But then, among all of them, the easiest and the fastest one was Microsoft Windows Movie Maker. So we're going to go ahead and then download Windows Movie Maker and install and I'll show you how you can use this tool to rotate your video in case you have an issue like this. For those using Windows XP to Windows 8, you need not to go through this first procedure of installing the Windows study the Microsoft uh, Movie Maker because your operating system already comes with it installed already but for some reason Microsoft decided to take Movie Maker out of Windows 10 so if you're using Windows 10 you need to go download the Movie Maker and then install it before you'll be able to use it it doesn't come by default with the OS so let's go through the download and then the installation. Let's search for download Windows Movie Maker. Okay. Click on the first link. The first link takes you direct to Microsoft's website where you can download Movie Maker. Scroll down. okay so you click on get it now you you start your download i've already downloaded this already so i'm not going to go through the download process again but you go ahead and download this one thing i want to make clear here is microsoft has added Movie Maker to Windows Essentials. So what you're downloading is complete Windows Essentials and not only Movie Maker. It's during the installation that you'll be able to select exactly the package where you want and the packet that you want to install. So if you're done with the download, go and look, locate the directory where your setup was downloaded to. Mine was downloaded here. So you double you double click on it to start the installation wizard select install all of windows essentials sorry sorry select the choose the program you want to install microsoft windows essential comes with different uh tools and so if you choose the first one install all of windows essentials it's going to install all the tools that comes with windows essential but all that we need from windows essential is just the movie maker so choose the programs you want to install so over here on check messenger on check mail on check writer we don't need all of those what we need is movie maker so you left that you check that and then click on install whilst the 
installation is taking place i'm going to pause this video and come back when the installation is complete okay my installation is complete so i'll go ahead and click on close now go and search for my windows movie maker there it is i click on it to start the software so our first part of this tutorial it's it's complete that's we've installed windows movie maker so like i said those using from xp to windows 8 you know to go through this procedure you can just start your windows movie maker and then we continue from there so let me go and pull my rotated video and bring it onto my windows movie maker So this is the video that got rotated. Let me play it for you to see. There you go. You see the video is rotated. So I'm going to use window, Windows Movie Maker to turn it upside down to the position which I want. Let me close this. So you go ahead and then I'll drag the video to the clipboard over here. When that is done, Windows Movie Maker will start preparing your video for editor. This could take a couple of minutes, so just be a little bit patient. Okay, my video is now ready for editing. So to rotate it upright, you locate the rotate icon over here. So this is the rotate icon. You have the rotate left and then rotate right. So you can use any of them depending on how you want to do your rotation. I'm going to go ahead and then click on rotate left. So rotate this and then I now have it in the right position in which I want. So I'm done with my rotation. I'll go ahead and then save my video. I'll go ahead and click the save button over here or I can go to file and then click on save project or I can click on the floppy disk icon over here to save my project. But I want to always click this because it's just closer to me and very shortcut. So I'll go ahead and then click on save movie. I give it a name or leave it as it is so we can so I will, I will leave the name as it is so it overwrites the one that has turned upside down because I, I I don't really need that anymore so go ahead and click on save do I want to overwrite yes so again here it takes it will take some time saving the video depending on the length of video my video is quite lengthy so it's going to take some time to save the video all right my video is done saving so i'm going to go ahead to play and see if it's exactly what i want go ahead and play okay Hi guys. and i have it exactly how i want upright so friends like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, I tried a couple of tools in order to achieve this. But none was so simple and straightforward as Movie Maker. I tried VLC. VLC, the process was cumbersome, was confusing. At the end, I lost the sound of the video and I had to scrub it out. Uh, Movie Maker did a trick for me. It's straightforward, it's simple. So if you ask my opinion, I would suggest you go for Movie Maker for something like this. I hope this has been of value to you. 
if you have any question you can send me a mail at victor at easycodinglab.com or can write your question in the comment box below and i'll quickly respond if this has been a value to you kindly give me a thumbs up or subscribe thank you for watching see you again in another video bye bye